In this example, we're going to find the limit of the uh, function that we see here. Okay. So first thing to do, let's uh, um, let's do a direct substitution and see what we get here. Okay. So when we substitute h uh, for zero, okay, we end up getting nine plus zero to the minus one minus nine to the negative one all over zero. So basically we get nine to the negative one minus nine to the negative one all over zero. And so we get zero over zero, okay, which is a uh, which is an indeterminate result. Okay, so from here what we need to do is use uh, basically use some algebra to rewrite this function. Okay. All right, so let's first rewrite this part. Okay, so this is nothing more than one over nine plus h minus one over nine all divided by h. Okay, so this is what we call a complex fraction a complex fraction. Okay. So we need to go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to uh, what we want to do is look in the numerator and try to and we want to combine these, okay, using a common denominator. Okay, so we can multiply this side by nine, and then that means we have to also divide by nine, and then this side we're going to multiply by nine plus h, and for the top and bottom. Okay, so now we have the common denominator of nine times nine plus h, so we can combine these. Okay, so this is going to give us nine minus nine plus h okay all over nine times nine plus h okay and all this is divided by h okay all right so this okay so you can think of this on the denominator here this is just h over one so we can go ahead and do the uh, take the reciprocal of this so this is going to give us okay um, in the top here we have oops, let's see on the top here okay this part is just 9 minus 9 minus h so this is going to give us minus h on top okay so we have minus h all divided by h times 9 times 9 plus h okay all right, so this works out nicely because now the h's will cancel out, right? And that leaves us with a negative one divided by nine times nine plus h, okay? All right, so our limit, okay? So the limit that we have becomes uh, minus one, but well, we have the limit of minus one over nine times nine plus h. Okay. All right. So just rewriting this algebraically. Okay. Uh, and we can cancel out the, uh, that allowed us to cancel out the H's. So that was giving us the zero over zero uh, value. Okay. And then from here, we just go ahead now and just do a direct substitution. So letting H, letting H be zero. Okay. We're going to get nine. Okay. Minus one divided by uh, 9 plus 9 times 9 plus 0 and that will leave us with 1 minus 1 over negative 81 okay uh, so that is our solution so so with these limits sometimes you have to get a little creative or sometimes you may need to use algebra to simplify the expressions okay so this is just using something from pre-calculus okay to rewrite the expression Okay, and then we take the limit by using a direct substitution, okay? All right, so something else to keep in mind here is that um, because of this, uh, let's see, yeah, because of this, right, we cancel, right, we cancel out H. So this tells us that there's a hole in this graph, okay? The hole, okay, so if we were to plot this function, okay, there's a hole, 
there's a hole in this graph at okay uh, it would be at um, zero and then minus one over 81 okay all right okay so why zero because that's what take we were taking the limit as h approaches zero okay and okay so and then the minus one over a one that's the corresponding y value for this for the x equals zero okay all right so again this demonstrates that the limit exists at zero uh, but the function value doesn't exist okay so note that let's call this f of h so the function at zero uh, does not exist okay so again uh, the limit exists the limit can exist at a point while the function value doesn't exist okay